how many orbital launches in the United States is realistic for 2025. I'm not talking how many they say, although we will get into that. I'm talking how many we should expect from companies not named SpaceX. If you are interested in SpaceX launches, how many we should expect for 2025, I already did a video on that. You can check that out here after this video. But what prompted this video, at a conference today, a representative from Firefly Aerospace said that we should expect five launches from Firefly's Alpha this year. And they said four last year, and they did one last year. So their predictions, their statements are not entirely accurate. So I decided to look into this issue and see how many times a company says they will launch in a year over the past few years, and how many times they actually launch in a year. And I'm just looking at orbital launches in the United States. I'm not looking at Blue Origin's New Shepard. I'm not looking at Rocket Lab's Haste. I'm just looking at orbital launches in the United States. So let's check this out. For all of these companies, I'm looking at fully successful launches as well as partial successes and complete failures. And when I have the data, I'm looking to see how many at the start of that year they said they were going to launch. So you can see Firefly Alpha has been optimistic over the past few years. Four times they plan to launch in 2022, six times they plan to launch in 2023, and along with that statement, they actually said that they wanted to launch 12 times in 2024. Then at the start of 2024, they revised and said they were gonna launch four times. And then now they're saying they're gonna launch five times. Well, they had some incidences. They, they didn't have completely successful launches, which have slowed them down, along with their Blue Ghost mission, which just launched on a Falcon 9 earlier this year. It is heading to the moon. It should be there in approximately a month. I am actually really, really excited about that mission. So they've been kept a little bit busy. I can't really blame them for being distracted in a way by this Blue Ghost mission and not focusing so much on Alpha. If something goes wrong with the Blue Ghost mission, I think that will detract from their launch cadence because they will pool resources, I assume, to understand what went wrong with Blue Ghost. Now, if Blue Ghost is fully successful, they may still be attentive to it to plan for the next lunar mission. Either way, we can see based on their track record that they have been overly optimistic in how many times they anticipate launching at the start of a year. So how many times do I think that Alpha will launch this year? More than one probably like two or three, not five. I do not believe I'd be totally shocked if they even got to four launches in 2025, but I wish them all the best. Looking at who else is launching in the United States, and I'm gonna fudge things a little bit here. So Rocket Lab is technically a US company. They've got launch pads in New Zealand and they're primarily New Zealand based and they've got launch pads here in Wallops. So I am taking them to be a US orbital company and therefore I'm including all of their launches here. Um, so take that as you will, maybe you disagree with my uh, decision here, but Rocket Lab is the second most frequently launched company or, or in recent times have launched the most aside from SpaceX here in the United States. And so looking at what they have said, they too have an overly optimistic record here of saying they wanna launch more times than they actually launch. I could not find data for 2022, sorry, but for 2023, 2024, one thing they have going for them is they are actually increasing their launch cadence. And so with every prediction, they don't quite meet that prediction, but they are increasing their launch cadence every year. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a number that they predict this year. Someone send me a link below in the comments if you can find a source that says how much they wanna launch in 2025. All I could see was more than last year. <laughs> That's what they stated, was they wanna launch more than last year and they have not yet announced their Q4 earnings yet. They haven't had their Q4 earnings call for 2024. So we don't have that. In we should eventually have that information, but we don't have it as of this recording. Now, Rocket Lab does have another vehicle that they plan to launch this year, their Neutron, and they are planning, as far as I know, just one launch. I'm pretty sure they stated they're just doing one launch in 2025. They're aiming for the middle of the year, I think July. I'm predicting that they're gonna do it sometime in 2025. They're gonna launch Neutron, but not in July, probably closer to the end of the year. United Launch Lines used to be a powerhouse. They used to launch so frequently comparatively, not compared to like SpaceX, but compared to the time, they were the powerhouse for a while here in the United States. And that has dwindled over time. So you can see based on this graph that the number of um, Atlas V launches that they plan to launch 
has significantly exceeded the number that they've actually launched each year. They have a finite number of Atlas Vives made and sold, and they have not been launching them as quickly as they anticipate. I could not get a number for 2022 because they included Delta IV in that 2022 estimation, and I, I couldn't find information how to break apart the Atlas V and Delta IV, so I didn't. Tori Bruno, the CEO of ULA, he stated that they're going to launch, ULA is going to launch 20 times in 2025. About half, he said, would be Atlas V, and about half would be Vulcan. And he said slightly more Atlas V than Vulcan, but he didn't give a number. Nobody has given a number. So just on the safe side, I estimated 11 launches of Atlas V in 2025 and nine launches of Vulcan in 2025. Like that, I'm, I'm, that's how I'm breaking that apart, that 20 divided roughly in half. Um, I, I don't think they're going to launch nearly that many. Um, they would have to really change their company culture to launch anywhere close to what they predict this year. Then we have some newcomers here. I'm only including the newcomers that I think will actually launch in 2025, not the ones that say they're going to launch and I don't think they have a chance. The ones that actually are going to launch in 2025, I've included here. New Glenn, it launched. Congratulations to Blue Origin. Um, who knows how many times they're actually going to launch this year? They said 10. I say no way, are you kidding me? Blue Origin is known for being super, super slow. And while they do have a lot of back supply, uh, you know, back contracts to fulfill, um, they are way too slow to launch 10 times in 2025. Um, I'd be surprised if they do half of that, but that's what they're saying. And come next year, if I do a version of this video next year, I'm gonna be super curious to know just how optimistic they were with their launches when they say they wanna launch 10 times in 2025. Not New Shepard, but New Glenn. Stoke Nova, another newcomer, they, as far as I can see, have not stated how many times they wanna launch in 2025. I'm just going to assume one, they want to kick off Nova in 2025. I think in the last article where they talked about how much money they just raised in their latest round, um, they actually backed away from the 2025 date a little bit. So it looks like they're, you know, optimistic their optimistic assumption is they might launch once in 2025 and um, they're not even confident of that, but we'll see. If a company repeatedly tells you that they are going to do something and then misses that milestone, misses that projection, misses that estimation, then taking their estimations with a grain of salt, really being skeptical about what they say every year that they're going to do is probably a safe bet. I tend to be on the more skeptical side of analysts and even I seem to be a bit too optimistic when I look at my predictions year after year. This launch that's happening behind me, if you can see it, it has nothing to do with what we're talking about. I just love living here. It actually does have something to do with what we're talking about because when SpaceX Falcon, that's a Star, uh, Starlink launch right there, when they are repeatedly making predictions year after year after year that are too optimistic, aspirational, then we know that not to take that exactly seriously, we know that they're gonna miss those missions, those mission milestones, those, those projections year after year, but they come close and they keep on trending upwards. So every year they do more. They say they're gonna do more and they do more. They may not get to that ultimate number that they hope to get to, but they continue to do more. And look at this, I love living here. <laughs> the bottom line is that most companies do not launch as many times as they hope to. Most companies are overly optimistic when they consider how many times they can launch in a year. Most companies do not have the track record that SpaceX has, where SpaceX can say they're gonna launch X number of times and then they don't quite get to X, but they get pretty darn close. Um, so SpaceX is really, like you can see just how many times SpaceX is already launching this year compared to who else has launched? Blue Origin, New Glenn has launched this year and SpaceX continues to launch over and over and over and we just expect it. So I hope this helps you to realize that nobody is coming close to launching as frequently as SpaceX anytime soon in the United States when it comes to orbital launches. But at the same time, like I applaud these other companies for at least trying to ramp up their cadence because I truly believe that it is to the advantage of the space industry as a whole that we have multiple launchers. It's still healthy for an industry to have multiple service providers. So while I don't think that Firefly Aerospace is going to launch as frequently as they say they will, I do believe that they are going to launch Alpha a few times this year. And if you're curious about the other predictions I have for 2025, check out this video next.